morning. Good morning, everybody. Okay. What we're gonna talk about today is very, very important, okay? First of all, let's talk about spring. Spring is here. It's getting very, very hot, okay? So, and it's not raining, so it's like around 100, 198, 95. It's very, very hot, so remember one thing. That Sumara, can you get closer, Lucas? That Sumara, how much water you put in your desert roses is not gonna help the heat, okay? For example, these plants over here, they are sunburned. This one, this one is sunburned, okay? From the heat. This flower don't even have a chance to open before the heat got it, okay? So, how it is, you're gonna water your desert rosas once a week, okay? Once a week, you're gonna soak them in until the water comes in the bottle. That's no matter how stretched your desert rosas are. Like, for uh, example, this one over here, you can see it's a little wrinkly, a little wrinkly, and the leaves are straight up. Means dehydration. But, but you notice right here, the, mo the soil is wet, the, it's very wet, moist, okay? It's moist. Means the plant doesn't need water. Oops, oh, oh, you poor little baby, oh, you poor little baby, oh, you poor little baby. Okay, this one over here, sunburn, don't even have a chance to open either because the heat, okay? So, all I can do is water it once a week, doesn't matter how hot it is and how sunburn you plant is. The worst you can do is over watering and root rot. The plant cannot be sitting in water. Water it once a week or every time the soil is totally dry, okay? Depends, remember. A lot of you guys call me and ask me how often to water. Well, very easy when the plant is dry. In Arizona, will be faster because there's no humidity over there. So for that reason, your plants will dry faster than Florida, that we have a lot of humidity. So you might have to water it every six days, every five days. Texas, I think it's humid. I'm not really sure, but I think it's very humid. So might be like Florida. But again, I cannot tell you to water it once a week because it's a good reason. Listen to this. California, Arizona, Tennessee, New York, every state is different all over the world also. Every country is different. So what you're gonna have to do is water it when it's totally dry. If the plant is burned, it's not, doesn't matter how much water you're gonna have the plant at all. You're gonna kill the plant, okay? So do not overwater it, okay? So that's the thing. You have to water, but not overwater it, okay? Be careful. One more thing, let's talk about the heat, okay? That's what we're talking about right now, the heat, okay? Okay, one more thing. What I'm talking about is not a specific thing today. I'm talking about different things that I need to discuss with you guys to make sure everybody's doing the same and we're on the same page and we take care of plants, okay? One more thing. When you get a plant in the mail, for example, oops, little baby, this. You get this in the mail, okay? From me, do nothing to the plant, please. Do nothing. You get it like this, nothing. Why? Because this plant, this come from here, from here, okay? I'm talking about specific on this garden. Uh, has the uh, ha, has the hundred percent pine bark vines, has the cocoa core, has the sulfur, phosphorus, and professional heros fertilizer. So for that reason, you don't need to do anything. Plus the plant is planted in a nice, nice spot. I will leave it here. Why? Because the plant is growing right now. The plant is, is a root already and the plant is growing. It's not need for you to transplant it at this time until next spring, okay? Next spring and the early spring you transplant it and then the plant will continue growing with you slowing it down and then uh, it will bloom and everything for you. Okay, one more thing. Uh, I was talking to my uh, guy, I call him my guy because he has a lot, a lot, a lot of knowledge about, I know a lot and he knows like 300 times more than me. Okay, so I was talking to him, I asked ask him about our plants burning. 
okay? What I recommend, not all the states, but in the states that is very, very hot, like Florida and few states, you know where you are hot, you know where you are not, okay? Where you are hot, it recommend to protect the desert rosas 30 UV, means you have to buy a screening, a screening that will protect your plants 30% from the heat. And that is recommended and the plants will bloom more, will have more blooms. So I know you cannot buy the screen because you are not a nursery, I understand. What you can do is put the plants, you desert roses in one side of the house where the plants will get like, for example, money sun and by the evening, the sun will go in the other side of the house and the plant will not get too much sun, okay? That will help a lot, okay? If you can, some people has 50, 60, come with me, Lucas, 50, 60 plants or some lady yesterday, she got like, uh, she got like 80, okay? And she take people's plants. And uh, so when I was talking to her, uh, she was saying that, uh, she has a lot of plants. So what I'm doing myself, okay? I'm gonna protect my plants here from the heat because it's very hot. So what I did, I have my friend Darlene saw this screening for me. This is screening over here, okay? This is screening over here and this is 30%. 30%, can you see me? I can see you. Okay, this is screen over here, 30%. So I'm gonna put it here. I put this uh, timber, garden timbers here. I put this two by fours and I can do construction guys. Okay, I did this myself. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attach this screen to the uh, roof over there, to the edge of the roof with a cell tapping screws and then bring it over here and uh, attach it over here. And then that will be my plant will be protected 30%. I will have more blooms. They will be more shiny and more healthy. So it's very inexpensive. It's expensive to buy, to buy a greenhouse. I can buy a greenhouse, but I think they are not attracted in here. They will not feed in here in my garden. So for that reason, what I'm doing is, if you see over here, I put these two by fours here, okay? And I put this, I'm sorry, four by fours, guys, four by four, man. Okay, and I put the two by fours there. I put screws there. And uh, what I'm doing is my friend is building me a screen here uh, with the borders. This is temporary over here until I, she's finished sewing it. And then I will have a screen all the way, all the way from here, all the way to there. And all my plants will be protected. And that's what I'm doing all over the garden. I'm gonna have I'm gonna build little greenhouses like this for my plants to protect them because they do need the heat, but they don't need, they don't need the, uh, they, they don't need full sun in Florida because it's very hot. So anyway, where you can get a screen, a uh, greenhouse mega store, they have a screen, they have a wire, this wire is plastic, but the, glass, the wire is bendable. So what you do, if you do in a long distance, you can run the wire up and down and zigzag, and zigzag, and you cannot see it because it looks like a fish line, but it's very thick. And it's special for, for that. It's special for greenhouses or places where you put screening and uh, you don't want to put two by fours across. So you just run the wire with a little staples up and down, up and down, zigzag, and that will hold the screen in place. Okay, so that's all I wanna say, and thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe, and please watch the commercials a little bit, because that helps a lot. And until next time, thank you from Maria's Garden.